climbed up into the top end of the cemetery up through the undergrowth as you can see it's well overgrown to find the site of the critter shaft it's dropped about 8 or 10 foot when I first came here there were signs of the top structure it was like an overarched brick structure and it had fallen in at one side uh, there's the famous fridge in the hall yet, it's still there showing signs of wear it's got a tad rusty now but never mind in this area there's another two shafts I've never found them yet I've had a little wander to deer and actually got to the site of Knockmerton Pit which I haven't been able to do for years ever since they re-sculptured the quarry uh, there's no sign of anything there probably require a bit of excavation for to find any signs of the shaft but in my day there was a concrete cap or stone cap on top of it with a grill in and as kids we used to drop stones down near them splash in the water below Knock Merton Pit was one of the major collieries in that uh, the whole water system what they called the level system ran from the gins over towards Green Bank then it would hit the Bannock Band seam it travelled southwards until it met up with Knock Merton Pit which was there when the uh, thicker level was driven up towards the Marshon Gates and uh, the reservoir up there they took a spur over to this one and joined them all up and it became known as the Green Bank level system uh, it's probably still running to this day I'll keep looking anywhere this is an, an interesting walk this morning uh, no doubt there'll be others thank you